Happy Thursday, guys. Jillian here. Today, our trainer tip is with Miranda, and she's going to teach me how to squat. So, this is going to be fun. Let's go. Hey, Miranda. Hello. What are you going to teach me today? I'm going to teach you how to do a squat today. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, Miranda, show me perfect form for a squat. What should I be doing in order for me to be doing this perfectly? So you want to start with your feet shoulder width apart. Okay. Just like this, line it up with your shoulder. Okay. You want to think about when you go down, you want to sit back in your heels. Okay, sitting back in our heels. So sit back in your heels. I always tell people act like you're sitting back into a chair. Okay. When you sit back, you want to think about having a tight core. You don't want to look like this or you don't want to be like this. You want to just be perfectly flat back. Okay. Sitting back into your heels. What are some of the like super common mistakes that you see people making that could really injure themselves? So the biggest common mistake I see are people who sit in their toes instead of their heels. Okay. So when they go down, they'll put a lot of pressure on their knees by having the knees go over the toes. So if, um, you know, that's a common mistake and you don't, you want to protect your knees. So I always tell people go away from your knees. Okay. So sit back into that chair, go away from your knees. Okay. Um, another common mistake is people who, when they squat down, sometimes if you have one side, that's a little bit stronger than the other, um, one knee will cave in. So if this is my weaker side. I'm sitting down I'm favoring my strong side. Okay. And this knee is going to cave in. So I always tell people, think about pressing out against your knees. So you're going straight down. And like what, if somebody has like an injury, like what type of injuries are you like, you should not be doing squats if you have this injury? Probably if you are, um, I've had a client who had a really, really bad hip and um, needed almost like a hip replacement. Miranda's so, just going to keep squatting. Keep, you yeah, I'm just going to keep squatting. Okay. So the, uh, is that okay? Right yeah. <laughs> okay. So the biggest thing is like, just the repetitions of going up and down on a really bad hip is, yeah. is not always the best. There's so many other ways to strengthen the hip okay. um, by, you know, working with a band or okay. doing a um, hip abduction machine or something of that sort, what stabilization you, for the hip. What about like ankle or knee? Like, could they do it if they have like a knee injury? Um, they can very safely. I think, you know, not a ton of repetitions, Okay. Um, but I think the movement and the joint is good. Um, to an extent. So okay. I always tell some of my clients if they have a bad knee to not go all the way down. Okay. Um, just to kind of go where they can and then back up. Okay. There's other ways to do it like on a bench. So I have um, a lot of my clients who have bad knees do sit to stand. Oh, so you'll sit okay. back onto the bench and then you'll stand. That's a good idea. And can you talk, like show me like where should they feel the squat if they're doing it properly? So mainly when you squat down, you're going to feel it in your glute muscles here. Okay. Um, you're also going to feel it here in your quads. Okay. Little hamstring in the back of your leg as well. But mainly I would say your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. Okay, you all. And look at that squat. I mean, y'all, come on. Are you ready for me to like do this and probably not look as good as you? Yes. <laughs> all right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Back in those heels. I'm sorry I didn't wear the right shoes, you guys. I'm so sorry. All right, so I'm hip width apart. Feet shoulder width apart. That's right. perfect. Okay. Yes. And you're going to sit back in your heels. Your core is tight. Your core is tight. Very good. And then you're going to stand. Okay. And so think about that flat back. Flat back. As you sit back, and I'm stand. using it. Do I like try to use my glute muscles to lift me back up? That's correct. So okay. when you when you stand, you want to squeeze your glutes, and even at the top, squeeze, and then go back down. It almost feels like I'm literally gonna fall. <laughs> I guess that's how it's supposed to feel, right? A little bit. You're going away from your knees. You're protecting those knees. And then if like I could do other things with this, right? Like I could like. Weight myself. I mean, I have bad knees, so I don't know that I want to do that. You could use a kettlebell or okay. a dumbbell. This okay. would be called a goblet squat. So, or a front squat. You have weight right here. Oh, weight in your, your front. Your core is tight. Front squat. That's right. correct. correct. You, would, you, you want to try it? No, I don't. Okay. I know. I mean, yeah, I think that would be really good. But for some people. Yeah, right. you could do a front squat. You could do a back squat with a bar on I your like back. The, Oh, back squat. Okay. And then like people, oh wait, here we go. I'm not doing this, but I just wanted to like show you like these things, right? Okay, fine. I'll do this. Fine, fine. So you put, where do I put this? You would put that above your knees. Okay. 
think about, like I talked about earlier, the common mistakes of your knee caving in. So having that band is a great reminder to when you squat down, press against that band. And that's going to get your glutes. Oh, glutes. Yes. You guys, my butt's going to be looking so good. I like this weekend in my bathing suit. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is very good. Okay, I'm a pro now. Absolutely. Okay, thanks, Miranda. Very good. Bye, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and Miranda Thank today. You. If you guys Don't get on your squat. Yeah, if you guys want to learn to do a squat, like, don't come see me. But you should come see Miranda because <laughs> she's really going to teach you a lot of things. Yes. Bye. Bye.